Welcome back to Vancouver Carpenter. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix these and do a really nice job on them because these can be a real headache. If you don't do it right, they can look like this. Just beautiful, beautiful work up there. <laughs> okay, so what do we do to make sure that these don't look like that? So what we have here is this is just regular drywall mud. So it's not quick set, it's not anything fancy. You could also use like painter's spackle for this sort of thing. In fact, that'll shrink a little bit less. However, I really like using just plain old drywall mud. So let me show you guys what we need to do here. Okay, the first thing we need to do is get some of this loose stuff off of here. So. Anything loose needs to go. Okay, next get your mud. So like I said, this is just right out of the box. There's no water added. The reason I like it like this is because it won't shrink and it's super thick. So what we're gonna do is we're going to actually put some mud on there first. And then we're gonna grind the heel of the knife in here. So what that's in a sense gonna do is it's gonna create an indent. If you look at this right here, you can see how it sort of indents the whole thing. The reason I put mud in first is because it glues everything down when you do that. So now we can just go like this. So you could leave it like that, sand it, and then fill it again. But I like to do a little bit more than that. So now we're gonna grind this in again. Like I said, that's what glues everything down is the grinding it. So don't grind it first like I did there. Fortunately, it's a closet, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna do this one. You really wanna make sure the mud goes like on this side and on this side, like you kinda really wipe all the mud in there and it gets to all the corners. So we ground that down. Okay, so those are pretty well done there. Now this whole thing actually needs a little bit of filler, so I'm actually going to do that real quick. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Normally, if I had the time, I would do this in a couple of coats. What we want to do is we want to get this to a decent stage so it can be sanded in a day or two. Okay, so this is almost done, but because these are going to shrink so much and be hollow, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make a little extra blob over top of these. like that, so it's built up a little bit. There, that one's even better. Those are gonna take forever to dry, and I might not recommend you do that, but if you have some skills with a buddy knife, then um, yeah, that's a pretty good way to get that done with regular mud, so that it doesn't shrink too much. It's a lot of sanding, but it'll be worth it, trust me, when you only have to do one coat. So that is how I like to do these. Now, I think maybe we will actually come back to this and sand this out so you can see how much this stuff shrinks and whether or not it needs another coat. So um, yeah, let's get back to it another day.
And well, that's done. So again, it's actually not that much work. Um, yeah, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Um, we'll outro with a little clip of what it looks like painted. Anyways, thanks for watching. Till the next video.